it's like just a tornado then it there um like it's raining raining pollution <laughs> Guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today we are going to make rain in a jar. JB, what are the things that we need? We need a water and food coloring and a jar and also shaving cream. I'm so excited to make a rain in a jar. So let's get started. Yay! 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 <laughs> First things first, we are going to put water in the jar. Okay. I'm scared. <gasps> Next, we are going, going to, to put, put shaving, shaving cream. cream. Oh, can you open it? Then? Yeah. <laughs> wow, let's try to stop it. Can I put this in? What the? It's farting. It looks like sabun. Next, we have to drop the food coloring into the shaving cream. It's like just a tornado, then it, there, um, like, it's raining, raining pollution. It's like seaweed smell. Oh, and that. Oh, mommy! Mommy, it looks like a giant wind stop going down. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle, like, oh, mommy, are they look like I can see a frog fall. Over here. It's frog like slime is dripping down like it's frog slime is raining. Ah, I say, I say, look yes. in the frog. Mm -hmm. It looks like slime. It flows. Wow, wow. It's like it's freezing. <laughs> I say, like it's I say, just I say, not moving. I say. The shaving cream represents the clouds. And the water represents the air. Well, the colored water represents rain. As the colored water saturates the cloud, it gets heavy and eventually is so heavy that it can no longer hold the water. It rains down into the jar through the air or water. It is just like real rain falls through the air. Oh no. 